Okay, so Wonder Woman just came out, and it's so far being a huge critical and commercial success. But is it as cracked up as everyone makes it up? Now, there's no denying that Wonder Woman is a huge part of feminism culture, and a part of art and culture for women. There's no denying that, and the fact that there even is a Wonder Woman movie, or even a female-led superhero movie being so huge right now is, is, is phenomenal. But when you look at critical review websites and you see the high ratings it's getting, I don't think it necessarily deserves those ratings, nor do I think that it deserves to be given the moniker of this feminist art form that is absolutely great for women. I don't think this movie actually does all too much for women. Female director and female lead. Those are both huge feats uh, in the movie making business on its own. You can't start running before you start walking, right? If it has to be a bad movie, at least it's a movie directed by a woman and starring a, a woman. That Those are great things. But this movie falls into a lot of traps of big budget Hollywood films, but also into a lot of traps of movies that are trying to be feminist movies. For one thing, this movie has only one main character who's a woman. The other main characters are all men. The biggest female character after Wonder Woman is one of the soldier's secretaries. <laughs> And then you have the fellow Amazonians, Wonder Woman's family. They're only in for about the first 20 minutes of the film, and they really don't do all that much in the grand scale of the movie. Aside from that, you have a bunch of male soldiers, and, and of course it's the time period that it's set in, but if you wanted to have this female empowering movie, there's plenty of ways you could have had other main female characters. You could have had another one of the Amazonians follow Diana Prince uh, with the soldier, and, and help her fight the Germans. There are a ton of ways that you could have worked in another female lead, instead of having the rest of the main characters be men. Second of all, this movie, for all its feminist worth, doesn't have a female villain, and it's even worse when they set up a female villain at the beginning of the movie, and they make you think that the villain's gonna be a female, but then it turns out it's not, and it's just a man. The, the chick you think is gonna be the villain just her mask falls off and then she runs away. And that's that's it. That brings me to my third gripe with the movie. One of the traps it falls into with uh, these big Hollywood movies, especially DC movies, these DC movies, they fall into this formula where they have to have this, you know, introductory part of the movie where they introduce the characters and then it goes on to be, you know, these kind of fight scenes where the characters is in action and then they have this big climax with this huge CGI monster. It's happened in every DC movie so far. And this movie is no different. They have a huge CGI fight with Wonder Woman. It doesn't look that good, and the fight itself isn't that great. The action scenes are way too full of slow motion. Not that they don't have good spectacle, they certainly do, they just overdo the slow-mo a bit. One thing that is also annoying is that having that big CGI fight at the end actually contradicts one of the main messages of the movie. Towards the end of the film, Steve Trevor says to Diana that some people are good people, some people are bad people, and not everyone is just controlled by this force for evil, which is what Diana thinks, because she thinks everyone's controlled by the God of War. It turns out that the God of War is real and is making the people evil, and then when she does kill the God of War, the bad guys and the good guys, they start hugging and they're happy that, that the fighting is over. And so Steve Trevor's wonderful, heartfelt message is contradicted completely, just because the film wanted to have this big CGI battle at the end. And I don't know how much Patty Jenkins' vision was tampered with. I don't know how much DC stepped in here. Maybe the writer didn't want a big fight, but DC did. I, I don't know the specifics of the movie. When you hail a movie like this as a big feminist piece of art and something that really progresses women's rights and women's place in Hollywood, you're setting the bar way too low because there are movies that have better female representation and there are movies that do more for feminism and more for equality but this movie for some reason is being hailed as the biggest one and, and maybe it's because it's got the biggest financial success and that's fair enough. We can't be holding Hollywood to this standard because then they will keep making films with subpar female roles and female representation. Things that bother me just off the wall. Gal Gadot is an Israeli actress. They have quite a few flashbacks in the beginning of the movie which does slow the movie down. In the flashbacks, two different child actors play um, Diana and they're both British actors. They're not Israeli at all, so I thought that was weird. So the mum of Diana could have had a bit more characterization. Like at first, she says to Diana, you better not go, you better not ever go. And then when Diana goes to leave, she's like, yeah, this is fine, we don't mind, you can go. Would they not have had a fight? That could have been a great conflict for the movie, the mother-daughter conflict, no? The movie is not bad, okay? It, it, it's it's not a terrible movie, it's, it's actually, it, 
it's pretty good, but it's certainly not great, and it's not this amazing movie that, that certainly critical websites are making out to be. This movie had so much potential. Gal Gadot does a great job at acting as Wonder Woman, the characterization of Wonder Woman is great, and the representation of Wonder Woman, mwah. All of those things were great, and, and great for female representation, directed by a woman. But outside of those two things, the secondary characters aren't great, the villain is relegated to this CGI monster. I'm not man-hating, I am a man. I'm just saying in a movie that's touting around as this big feminist, it really shouldn't be getting that credit. You have to save that title for when a movie comes along that actually does do that. For all intents and purposes, this is a win. If you look at and hear about all of the proposed Wonder Woman films and scripts, apart from maybe the George Miller Justice League movie, Wonder Woman 2017 is the best version of any Wonder Woman movie we were ever gonna get in the past. I mean, now we could probably have a good Wonder Woman movie that this one's the first step and then the next step is a really, is a great Wonder Woman movie. But before this one, oh, they were all terrible. I mean, the Joss Whedon script, don't even get me started. I really wanted this movie to be great, but it was just good. So, I hope you can get along to see it and um, I hope you enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think, I guess. If you agree, maybe you think that I'm wrong and that Wonder Woman's great female representation. Maybe you think I'm kind of right and that it was pretty good representation, but, you know, it didn't go far enough, really. Goodbye.